what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm going to basically tell you how to fix this issue if you're having crashing and stored up issues in modern warfare so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start on to the video i just want to you guys know let you guys know that that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work in YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is gonna be to navigate to your taskbar. You're gonna right click it and open up your task manager. Once this one pops up, simply navigate to the top left corner. Ensure that you're sticking around processes and the next step is gonna be to click one of those random processes. Doesn't really matter which one, so click it. Go to your keyboard and type in M in order to search for uh, Modern Warfare. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Once you did that, just uh, end your task manager again. The next step is going to be to take your battle.net shortcut or your Modern Warfare shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it on your desktop, simply navigate to the top le bottom left corner of your screen. Click under the Windows symbol and use your Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, simply drag it onto your desktop. So let's quickly come back, right click, run as an administrator. Uh, once you click that, your game will pop up or your launch will pop up and just simply launch the game. If it doesn't work, the next step will work. So just right click again, properties, compatibility and simply copy my settings. So enable run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 and uh, afterwards enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend you to reset your PC afterwards and once it is restored it, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut and uh, afterwards I simply want you to double click it so uh, sort your game or your launcher, launch your game and this will fix or should fix your issue. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you but I'm just trying to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.